In the heart of the American West, a quiet crisis is unfolding, one that could define the future of life, food, and prosperity in California. As the state's aging water system strains under the weight of a changing climate and a rapidly growing population. Droughts strike with relentless force. Every few years, reservoirs run dry, farmlands wither, and ecosystems teeter on the brink. At the same time, while much of the state suffers from water scarcity, other regions face the opposite challenge, devastating floods. What if the solution to both extremes wasn't to wait for better weather, but to capture the water when it comes and store it for when it's needed most? To answer this challenge, America is planning to build one of its most ambitious new water infrastructure projects, not by damming a river, but by capturing excess flood water during California's rare wet spells and banking it for dry times. Could this off-stream reservoir become the state's most vital safeguard against its water crisis? Today, let's delve into the $4 billion mega reservoir that will save California. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video, as it's the best way to support this channel. California has long faced a paradox, abundant rainfall and snowmelt in some years, followed by years of punishing drought. Historically, the state depended on snowpack from the Sierra Nevada to act as a natural reservoir, melting slowly through spring and summer to feed rivers and reservoirs. However, Climate change has disrupted this balance. Warmer winters reduce snow accumulation, while extreme precipitation events deliver too much water too quickly, overwhelming existing infrastructure and resulting in missed opportunities for capture. At the same time, California's population has surged from 23 million in 1980 to over 39 million, intensifying demand for water. The agriculture sector consumes over 80% of the state's water, while environmental laws mandate river flows to protect ecosystems and endangered species. This creates a fierce competition between cities, farms, and the environment. The existing reservoir system, built decades ago, can no longer manage these competing needs effectively under today's volatile conditions. As a result, modern water infrastructure has become not just desirable, but absolutely critical for California's future. The idea of a new reservoir in California dates back to the 1950s, but was set aside as the state focused on massive projects like the California State Water Project of the 1960s, which now supplies water to over 27 million residents and 750,000 acres of farmland. Along with the Federal Central Valley Project, these systems have long formed the core of California's water supply. However, they were built on outdated assumptions of stable climate patterns and predictable snowmelt. Today's reality of reduced snowpack and frequent extreme storms has exposed their lack of storage flexibility. Neither system can adequately capture excess winter runoff. As droughts and water shortages intensified in the 2000s, the concept of a new reservoir resurfaced. In 2010, local water agencies created the Sites Project Authority to develop off-stream storage, gaining strong support from both agricultural and urban stakeholders to modernize the state's aging water infrastructure. Just a few kilometers north of Sacramento lies a narrow valley surrounded by cliffs and hills. The landscape is arid and sparse, dotted with a few buildings with just a handful of residents. The settlement is labeled as Sites on Maps, though it's not officially recognized as a town. Now, the state plans to flood this valley, transforming it into what will be known as the Sites Reservoir. Initially, the state water project deemed the proposal too ambitious, given the staggering $4 billion price tag. Recently, though, opinions have shifted, and the state now believes the project is worth the investment. Once constructed, Sites Reservoir would stretch 13 miles from north to south and 4 miles from east to west. When full, the reservoir would be around 260 feet deep from surface to floor at its lowest point. The reservoir can hold up to 1.5 million acre-feet of water, enough to serve 7.5 million people with water for an entire year. Once constructed, it would be the eighth largest reservoir in California. 
A significant share of its capacity will be allocated for environmental purposes as well, including boosting flows for endangered species such as Chinook salmon, restoring habitats in the Sacramento-San Joaquin Delta, and sustaining critical wetland ecosystems. By combining water security with environmental restoration, Sites Reservoir stands out as a true multi-benefit project. So, how will this reservoir be constructed? The Sites Reservoir will be built in a natural valley flanked by hills and cliffs, reducing the need for extensive excavation and allowing for greater cost efficiency. The process will begin with the creation of several dams to seal off any gaps between the hills surrounding the valley. Two main earth fill dams, Sites Dam and Golden Gate Dam, will rise to approximately 310 feet and 150 feet respectively, and will be supported by a series of saddle dams, spillways, outlet works, and embankments, enclosing a surface area of around 14,000 acres. Combined, these structures will effectively transform the valley into a giant waterproof basin. The next step is filling it with water. Approximately 25 kilometers east of the valley lies the Sacramento River, the largest river in California. During the rainy season, the plan is to divert water from the river, channel it through fields, hills, and towns, and then direct it into the Sites Valley. Pumping water from the river to the valley will require a significant amount of energy, but the State Water Project believes the effort is justified, especially since some of the energy will be recaptured through hydroelectric power generation. The Sites Reservoir Project offers major potential but faces serious hurdles. Funding is a key challenge, though over $875 million have been secured from Proposition 1 and federal grants. Much depends on local and regional water agencies signing long-term purchase agreements. To meet remaining costs, the State Water Project may raise rates by up to 300%, sparking concerns about affordability. What's the point of more water if no one can afford it? Environmental groups warn that even off-stream diversions could disrupt river ecosystems, reducing peak flows vital for fish migration and spawning. These ecological concerns triggered legal challenges under the California Environmental Quality Act, but a 2024 court ruling upheld the project's environmental approvals. Additionally, some residents worry about displacement, noise, and environmental impacts. Balancing water needs with community and ecological concerns remains critical for the project's success. Despite the obstacles, the benefits of the site's reservoir are compelling and far-reaching. The project will significantly expand California's capacity to store water during wet years, addressing one of the state's most urgent infrastructure gaps. By banking surplus water and releasing it during droughts, sites will enhance resilience not only for farmers and cities, but also for fragile ecosystems that rely on consistent flow patterns. It will support environmental restoration through dedicated storage for fish flows, wetlands, and wildlife refugees helping stabilize endangered species in the Sacramento-San Joaquin Delta. On the economic front, Sites is expected to generate over 5,000 construction jobs and strengthen long-term water reliability for sectors that contribute billions to the state's economy. For Central Valley agriculture, more predictable water deliveries could help stabilize farm operations, reduce fallowing, and support rural employment. The reservoir also improves emergency preparedness playing a key role in wildfire response. The Sites Reservoir is being developed by the Sites Project Authority, a coalition of local and regional water agencies across California. The project is in its final design and permitting phase, led by Jacobs Engineering Group, one of the largest infrastructure consulting firms globally, which is overseeing design, environmental compliance, and system planning with support from specialized consultants. While construction contracts have not yet been awarded, competitive bidding will follow once approvals and funding are finalized. The project continues to receive cross-party political support, with Governor Gavin Newsom streamlining permitting in 2023 and the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation granting $67.5 million in 2024 to fast-track pre-construction efforts. As of early 2025, 
The site's reservoir is progressing through final permitting, funding commitments, and land acquisition. The site's project authority has completed its final environmental impact report, received key federal approvals, and cleared a major environmental legal challenge. Construction is expected to begin by late 2026, with completion anticipated around 2032. The site's reservoir is more than a construction project. It is a bold response to the defining environmental challenge of our time. By moving away from rigid, single-purpose infrastructure toward a flexible, multi-benefit system, it signals a new era in water management, one that unites supply security, ecological restoration, and real-time technology. If implemented with transparency, innovation, and long-term stewardship, sites could become a model for climate-resilient infrastructure across the American West. As California faces a future shaped by extremes, the real question is, how much longer can we wait to build what the future demands? What do you think of this mega project? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.